gorgeous, gorgeous day here today, but it wasn't that way for much of the rest of the country. So Chief Meteorologist mm -hmm. here to talk about what happened in the Midwest. Yeah, you know, last night we were talking about old snow and how yes. much we didn't want that, but right. the weather got worse. Check this out. These amazing pictures of oh. lightning from downtown Chicago. Oh. The storms canceled dozens of flights as well as uh, delayed thousands more. But this has got to be my favorite shot from Iowa. That's Des Moines, Iowa, where winds in excess of 50 miles per hour pushed those air stairs uh, into that Delta airplanes. Luckily, no one was hurt. I just love the reaction from inside the terminal. And there you saw a little bit of snow. That was from Colorado. So a whole mess of weather back to our west. Kind of boring here, but we're okay with that, especially as we head into the weekend. And kind of warm outside right now. I mean, temperatures in the low 60s. Our normal high this time of year is 65, and it's about 60 degrees at 11 o'clock at night. And compared to where we were last night at this time. I mean, it's 18 degrees warmer right now in Lewisburg than it was last night at 11 o'clock. So you get the idea. It's kind of warm out right now, but there's colder weather coming. Now, this morning we started the day at 45 degrees. Tomorrow we'll start it at 48. So actually a little warmer in the morning but cooler during the day. That's what tonight's cold front is going to do. So as we take you hour by hour, we'll jump up to 52 at 9, sunny, 58 at noon, 64 will be our high. So that's kind of an average day for this time of year. We did not have an average super sunset tonight. Great shot from Noor in Fuquay, Verena. Love the shadows, and I don't know what kind of orange color that is, but that amazing shot there. I put this on my Twitter and Instagram uh, site if you want to share that with your friends or take a look and save it as a screensaver. Or if you've got a shot just as good as this one, drop me an email to send it at WNCN.com. And tell me who you are and where you are when you send me the shot. And I show you this to kind of ease the blow that tomorrow is Friday the 13th. So I don't know if you need to do anything different tomorrow. It's Friday. We love that. Friday the 13th. I don't know about that. Cold front. There it is just to our west. It'll come through overnight. No clouds or rain, but it will eventually bring us some cooler temperatures. And with high pressure behind it, you know we'll have some more sunshine. So today or tomorrow, not overall a bad day. A little breezy at times, but it will be noticeably cooler, especially as we get into the afternoon. That high pressure sticks around this weekend, also continues to help drop our temperatures, especially Saturday when we're not going to get out of the 50s. And then that high pressure will move away from us as we head into Monday. That'll open the door for a few clouds and eventually our next weather maker, which doesn't get here till Wednesday, but it's also going to give us a southerly wind that'll help warm us up back close to 70 by the middle of next week. Not close to 70 tomorrow, even though it will be sunny, breezy and dry, it's going to be cooler. 64 in Raleigh, 63 in Durham, and 68 in Fayetteville. And tomorrow night is the first night of high school playoff football. It'll feel like that uh, time of year. 51 when most of the games kick off at 7 o'clock clear, and 47 as we head into the second half. And your weekend does continue to get cooler. Look at early Saturday morning. 39 degrees at 8 a.m., sunny and 51 at noon, 56 by the afternoon, even colder Sunday morning, 36 degrees, so some of us close to freezing, but we will get a little warmer in the afternoon. Absolutely no rain, plenty of sunshine. And after this weekend, by the way, like you need to know this, five weekends until Christmas. So it's going to be here before we know it. So your seven day forecast takes us from those 70s today to 64 tomorrow, then down to 57 Saturday, 61 on Sunday. We will warm it up though next week from 66 Monday all the way up to 70 by Wednesday. We don't have to worry about rain until next week. Wednesday and Thursday, so if you've got some time, you want to wash the car tomorrow, you're okay. you got about five days to enjoy it. Did you All say right. you want to wash my car? Is that what you said? Those? No, because no. that's what I heard. No. <laughs>